Hey guys, Jadis here and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So by this moment, you probably already know what I'm going to show to you guys and how I am going to show it to you guys. So without further ado, this is my review and personal experience of the Logitech G604 and how to make this a productivity and gaming ready. So in this pandemic, we are all in work from home and we've been more into gaming more than ever. We got a lot of time for ourselves, a lot of time for gaming, and enough time for work. Kaya naman ako, I decided to go for another mouse, go for a different mouse since that I've been using a basic mouse for work and for gaming and I've got a lot of problems with that regarding latency, clicks, scrolls, and everything. That's why I did my research and asked few people about this concern. And some of them mentioned that you should have a different mouse for gaming and for work. But why? That's only if you have the budget and that's only for convenience. That's why ako, I decided to choose the Logitech G604 because it has a lot of benefits and you can make it both productivity and gaming ready. So as usual, let's go for an unboxing of this item. Just a disclaimer, this isn't an unboxing video but this is a re-unboxing video since that I've been using this for a year. But I will show you guys the experience of unboxing this item in this video. So let's get right into it. So up front, mahigit na natin dito yung image na most makukuha natin. Logo ng Logitech, G-Series, and yung name ng mismo mouse natin which is yung G604 Gaming mouse. Also, very fancy yung front niya kasi makikita nyo meron siyang different kind of coating which is very reflective, very gaming-like experience with the box. And sa top natin, makikita natin is wala siya since ito lang yung sabitin niya for the retail uh, display. The side is really clean since hindi talagang yung logo ng Logitech G-Series. And the other side is actually very important kasi dito nyo makikita yung specifications and what's in the box, what do you need to set up this gaming mouse. So, by nun siya 16,000 DPI, Bluetooth and Lightspeed connectivity, dual mode for the scroll wheel, and 15 programmable buttons. At the back, is actually describing most of the very important feature here which is yung light speed connection niya, Bluetooth connectivity, and the 15 programmable button and the 16K hero sensor here for the DPI. At the bottom is Jazz nothing much, few description of their company and the serial number. So tayo meron ditong pamphlet ng Logitech G-Series which has their own products. A nice sticker. Installation guide and safety paper which we don't usually read. Then the actual item. So dito yung mouse, dito yung makikita yung battery na kalagay na dyan. So actually this is a replacement battery since that I've been using it for a year and na discharge na yung included battery niya. Then, a hole for the Logitech G logo. Nicely presented. Then, here is the mouse itself. Here, mahigitan natin pwede siyang tanggalin here to open this up. Then, my battery is actually an NLO rechargeable battery. The one that includes in this box is actually a Duracell battery that is marked as not for sale, but it it has a really nice battery life and almost five months kaya tayo or six months before I replaced the battery. Then a USB extension for your receiver here. For the mouse itself, a 
I actually have a lot of these since that I've been using a Logitech mouse ever since before. So I have one, two, and two another nanan sa setup sa aking gaming setup and sa sister ko. So here's the mouse itself. Let's just take this plastic off. So, sa mouse ito, pwede tanggalin here. Basta, ingat lang kayo. Actually, mine got a crack here kasi I didn't really remove this safely. So, which you can notice na meron na siyang crack here. So, there's actually a knob here na pwede siya mahapag uh, stay in place. But, good thing is that meron siyang magnet here to keep the cover on. Then we have inside the light speed receiver. And very important to keep this with you all the time. And benefit of the AA battery here is that you can just replace this for a better battery capacity and a rechargeable one. Although, although that mabigat siya and not ideal for FPS, but still useful siya. Ako ginagamit ko NNO Pro and it gives me a very very decent battery life or more than enough pasahin. So open up, nandito yung switch niya. Then it will light up. So 15 programmable buttons here. We have this. And here. So as I mentioned, I've been using this mouse for more than a year. I'm just saying, I'm tried and tested. Ko na siya. So let me tell you a few things that you will surely love about this mouse. First is connectivity. Being able to experience little to no latency gaming, light speed. Being able to connect to different devices without using any USB ports, Bluetooth. Which is why I can say that this mouse is both productivity and gaming ready because most of us use different laptop for productivity and a different gaming setup for gamings. Next is software. One of the most important things to consider when you want to have your peripherals very flexible to your liking is the capability to have the software and the customization. Which is why my third item is the 15 programmable buttons that it has which you will be able to customize through the software depending on your liking and the situation. Which is why we are going down to the fourth item on the list the onboard storage or the onboard memory that it has on the mouse. That is where the flexibility between different PCs, laptops goes in. I will be showing to you guys how it is very useful to me. The fifth item we have here goes to the productivity category, which is the dual mode ultra fast scroll wheel. With the help of that, you can switch from ratchet mode to ultra fast smooth scrolling, which will help you scroll down to hundreds of lines on Excel or on web pages. And lastly, the AA battery that this mouse uses. Although that you guys may say that it adds a lot of weight to the mouse, that can also be beneficial because you can just replace the battery anywhere, anytime, find a higher capacity, find a lighter AA battery on an online platform or on any hardware store. 
By the way guys, just a disclaimer, this isn't the full course of how to use the Logitech G-Hub application. But you can find a lot online on how to use it, some tutorials. But maybe in the future, if you'd like me to create a new content that uses or focuses on this app, maybe you can drop a like or drop a comment on the comment section below and I can maybe decide in the future. So, once you open the Logitech G-Hub, unan nyo makikita ko ano yung mga nakakakonek sa inyong items. Which is for my part is the Logitech G604 Lite Speed. And also you will see there's an battery icon here which is great because you can easily know what is the battery percentage that is currently inside the AA battery. Also, notice that there isn't any wording here but you will see later that there will be more indicating here like the onboard storage or onboard memory or in the Bluetooth connectivity. Now, to make this one very productive mouse, you should create an active profile, which is on my part is already created and named as Productivity Dell Laptop. And every time I use this or plug it in my laptop, it will be created, I mean, it will be actively profiled by default. Going back to the homepage, then when I click the actual mouse, you will be landed on a very, very customizable area here for your Windows laptop. And you will see that there are a lot of commands here that you can use and place on the mouse. So on my end, I, will, I am currently using the default areas here. DPI up and DPI down are not usually being used right now for my end since that I haven't set up a DPI but I've been using it before since that I have different uh, resolution for my monitor and I need faster or maybe more sensitive mouse before. Going to the previous page, you will see the customization here. My front bottom button is on default which is the forward as well as the bottom middle click is on default. Then you will notice that I have placed my top front button into print screen since that most of the time I am using this for my productivity stuff. I need to easily access print screen right away now instead of clicking on my keyboard. Next you will see the task manager since that all Windows laptop is in need of task manager. Then the DPI cycle which Every time I click this, I will be switching to a different DPI that I have set up before. Here you will notice that I have a G shift here that I have set up. And every time I click on this one, you will see a different set of customization for your mouse. Actually, this G shift is currently for my major consumption. So you will notice here that I have set up the, the left cursor click for the My left scroll click is for my previous track, right scroll click is for the next track, middle click is for the pause and play, scroll up for the volume up, scroll down is for the volume down. Then you will notice here that every time I click on this, it will be shift to G shift and release it, it will be on the phone. Now this is an important part if you are using your mouse for a different units, laptops, desktop, you should have, as I mentioned, an active profile and also you will be needing to set up your onboard memory. So to access that, you just have to be on this page, click on the settings, then you will be landed on this area wherein you will be setting up your profile on an onboard memory so currently I have my laptop set up to off and already restored or restored all of the profiles to be defaulted so currently we have five different slots here if I'm going to turn it on then you will have to set up your profile and those profile will be 
populating all of the profiles that you have on your Logitech G-Hub app. So notice na hikita nyo dito si Productivity Dell laptop. So I'm just going to click it. Then in just instance, apply na siya do sa mouse mo. Then as you guys remember, na mentioned ko kanina na mahigit nyo ha agad if naka onboard memory siya or hindi. As of now, mahigit nyo na naka onboard memory siya here, but you can easily check it out on the homepage right away that it is on onboard memory. Also, this is important for the Bluetooth. If you are going to use this on a laptop or a desktop that doesn't have the Logitech G Hub, especially for those office laptops that are restricting installation of this kind of application, you will easily access all of the profiles or maybe all of the commands that you have placed or all of the macros that you have placed on your mouse right away if you are on onboard memory because Bluetooth uses onboard memory for all units that doesn't have the G Hub app. If you're like me, that uses always the mouse for many units. I have two laptops actually and a desktop and I use this all the time. I always benefit from the onboard memory mode. So I'm going to turn this off now. So that's just basically how it will make your mouse very productive. You can just set up your commands, your macros, everything on your mouse, set it up for onboard memory. Then right away, you can just access those commands and benefit from that using a different unit. So you don't have to use a different mouse for a different laptop. You can just have one mouse for everything actually. Oh dear my guys, that's pretty straightforward on how to make your mouse very productivity in gaming ready, diba? You know what are you doing, you know how you use your mouse, you know what you need. It's like, you do you. And that's pretty easy, especially for the software, diba? There are a lot of things that I haven't discovered yet for this mouse, for the software, and I know you guys are better than me. And I know this video will be helpful as well for the beginners, but I still want to share it to you guys. And I hope you really, really like this video. Give me a thumbs up, a dislike, subscribe, and leave a comment on my video. And it will be helpful for me to know and improve my future videos as well. And yeah, thank you so much, guys. I really love this mouse. I hope you guys do as well. Goodbye.